The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. This Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre project on leveraging an integrated information lifecycle management framework seeks to examine the best practices and international standards related to the use of structured and integrated data. It aims to facilitate the consistent adoption of digital information for project lifecycle management. So this particular project was a, a case study on digital engineering and the use of data in decision making and we've been able to use our high-speed data that we collect every, every two years uh, for cracking on a road surface so it's all important. The road surface looks after the vehicles with friction, also looks after the underlying pavement worth something like eight or nine billion dollars, so highly important. We were able to um, mimic uh, people, so our inspectors would do an inspection. We've also got the high-speed cracking data, which is the modern laser and, and camera technology. And we've been able to, through this uh, project, to uh, basically mimic what a, an inspector who knew what he was doing was able to, to do. The outcome, we're looking at a, a future where we, we do less people, safer and use a more, uh, I suppose, consistent measure through high-speed data and the analytics that we can use with the system. The project has been successfully completed with the publication of a report which can efficiently guide industry on how to structure asset data by leveraging existing well-established data standards. Supporting this is a final industry report on a series of case studies which demonstrate how information and data can be collected, exchanged, stored and used at various life cycle stages of building and infrastructure projects. Being privileged to be chair of the project steering group, I can assure industry that the project was successful. This is largely brought about by a highly productive partnership among centre staff, industry and government agencies, supported by the excellent research capability of universities across Australia.